Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeToGeek.com and today we're going to install HA Proxy on an Ubuntu machine. We're going to do this real quick. It'll be a quick tutorial on installing it. It's way easy. And then uh, we'll show you just a little bit about how to configure it. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, here is my desktop and let's just pull up some website. So here is the HA Proxy website and you can go down here and here's an installation done in August of 21 on Ubuntu and you can go through this real, real easy. But what I'm going to do is slightly different. I'm going to go down here and you're going to see this HA proxy Debian and you can get the latest and greatest version. It shows right here, but if you go over that, it's going to look like this. And so if you are running Ubuntu or Debian, you have your options. So if you go to Debian here and maybe you just, uh, you just want to pull out bullseye the latest LTS version and boom, there's how you can install on Debian. And of course, Ubuntu, we're going to choose 2004 LTS straight up version here. And this is what we're going to do to install this. It is literally that simple. All right. So here we have my PowerShell and I'm going to get SSH into, and we are in. Let's just go ahead and make this big for everybody to be able to see. Um, because boom and boom, and here we go. All right. So assuming that you guys can see that, you all can see that nice and easy. Let's just go ahead and we are going to start out with this command right here. We just paste that in. Boom. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? Because we need sudo. <laughs> so, just we are following this tutorial on how to instruct, and it is assuming that you're already logged in as root um, in Ubuntu. If you install it normally, you're uh, not installing as root, so you have to sudo all the commands here. Pretty easy. Clear that out. Let's just go ahead and add that repo. Boom. Must be done as root again. I forget. <laughs> there we go. And enter. Look at all that funness. That's going to take just a second to finish up. And then we'll uh, move on to the actual install. But I'm going to do a sudo apt update just to get all the updates. Clear that. And now we're going to go ahead and do this guy here. And we're going to, of course, we're going to sudo that thing. And boom. Yes, we want that. We're going to flip back over to this here. So you'll see basically we do the same exact thing thing here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to just do this HA proxy dash V and it'll see what version it is. Um, and of course, the rest of this article. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. It's a great article. Um, so sometimes it helps to see it in a video. Um, like I said, go check out this HA proxy video. All right, there we go. So let's just go back over here. We're going to clear this. So we get some stuff off the, off of the screen. We'll do HA proxy dash V. And there you go. We are 2.4.4 version. So now if you want to do anything in the config, set it up. That is in the HA proxy config file. So let's just take a look at that real quick. There she is. Okay, so here is the default global config. And it's got a bunch of, let me just shrink this down just a little bit so we can see it a little bit easier, everybody here. Um, I want to make it big, but, you know, visible. So yet all this stuff here in the beginning is in the default. I'm just going to roll on down to this article. So we're in this here. 
And I just want to point out this information right here. So if you were going to want to set up a nice, easy front end and back end to so remember HA proxy, if you want an explanation of what that is, go check out my previous live that I did where I did a short little overview introduction to what HA proxy is and why you might want to use it. Um, so here, over here, what you see is the front end for, for an 80 uh, HTTP. You've got the stats URL. And then the, here you have a round robin load balance for servers where you put, you replace this with the server name and this with the IP address. And then that will, will load balance between a couple of uh, devices. So let me just show you real quick. Okay. So take a look at this for, for a minute. So at the top, you have that same stuff, but let's look down here at the bottom where I have a, a web server where I've got the little internal website rolling on this uh, 216 address with the HTTP and then the default backend is this web backend and you see down here you see that web backend is balanced red ro round robin server server one is at this dot 20 address and so like I only have one there if you saw in the example on the other the article there's two so let's just take it real quick the IP address of this server so X not IP space A so if I go to this 216 IP address you will see it redirects to a uh, HTML website that is an old version of my website so but I've also go to this 20 you will see that that same website. So it proxied over to that pretty nifty stuff. So let me pop back in here again. And I also have in this, the stats setup. So if you see here, uh, I bound it to 8080 and that will give you the stats URL. So if I change this here back to the 216, you know, it will go to the site. Now, if I change this, and put an 8080 on the end of it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so um, I did the slash stats on the URL there. So if you notice that right down here in the bottom where this is the URI slash stats. And so here you have the stats website for it. And so you'll see that front end, that back end that I should, that we set up in here. Um, and then there's the stats front end, which we're actually looking at right now. And then I have an SMTP front and a back end that's also configured in here. Um, so if you want to take a look at that, we'll look at that real quick. And uh, then we'll be, you'll be on your way. All right. So going back down here and let's scroll down a little bit farther in this. And down here at the bottom, I have an SMTP front end. So notice the mode is TCP. And then I bound to port 25 and then a back. End. So on the back end side, you'll see, notice the mode again is TCP. And then I have SMTP one, and then I have a local SMTP server that's in there. So boom. And so now if you run a connection to that, you will get that. So let's just take a look back over here to my terminal. And now if I just, just tell that, so you'll see right there. There is SMTP. There you have it. That is how you set up HA proxy to do a, a little bit of web proxy, a little bit of SMTP proxies. There's a whole lot more you can do with HA proxy. So I recommend you check out their website, uh, check out other videos. If you want more videos on how to do stuff on this, go ahead and comment that you what you want to see. Go ahead and smash that like. And, and hit that subscribe button if you got some value out of this. Also, if you really got some value out of it and you want to give me a little bit of, of uh, bonus on there, you can check out my Buy Me The Coffee link and uh, send me some money directly. Thanks for joining me. And we'll see you next time.